Hi folks. Between the nation of South Korea and Japan, there's an issue that's an irritant to both countries, and it's the comfort women issue, where the Koreans are claiming that during and before the Second World War, the Japanese forced over 200,000 Korean women into prostitution, making them sexual slaves, calling them comfort women. And the Japanese are saying that is incorrect. These women were recruited and they volunteered to serve in these comfort woman houses for the Japanese Imperial Army. So the issue goes back and forth. Recently there's been some uh, documentation on the internet which was reported to have been a report issued by the United States Army in 1944. The war was still going on in 1944. Where the Army, the United States Army, interviewed some of these comfort women and it was determined that these comfort women were not forced by the Japanese but were recruited. Well looking at the document and the different versions one can question the legitimacy of that document. That's what I did kids. I questioned you. So I contacted the National Archives outside of Washington DC. I made a telephone call. They advised me to send correspondence. I did. Where? Yesterday, they replied with this envelope, and in this envelope was the very report that appears on the internet. They authenticated the report, saying that this is an authentic report written in 1944 by the United States Army after they captured comfort women in the Philippines. You notice how I use the word captured and not rescued? Because they were captured. These comfort women were fleeing the advancing American military. They were fleeing with the Japanese. Right behind the Japanese soldiers were these comfort women. They got separated. And when they got separated, they got disoriented and lost. And that's when they were captured and interviewed by the United States Army. Now remember, 1944, there was a war going on, kids. And the Japanese, as well as the Americans, used anything to their advantage for propaganda purposes. So now the Americans capture these comfort women, these prostitutes who worked in concubines for the Japanese army, and it would have been easy for the American army to say, they were forced into prostitution. You see how nasty the Japanese are? But no, they could not say that because it would have been a lie. So the American army in this report reported the truth that these women volunteered, they were recruited, and the Japanese army did not terrorize the Korean Peninsula by extracting 200,000 women at force. If there was 200,000 comfort women, they were recruited and they were well paid for their services. But what's interesting about this report is, it mentions in this report that these women were not pretty by Japanese or Caucasian standards. They weren't pretty. In other words, the United States Army is saying these women were ugly. That's it, kids. You know, next to the Asukini Shrine in Tokyo, there's a war museum. And when you go through the museum, it takes you all the way through Japan's military history. I think from pre-samurai, samurai, Edo, up into World War II. But you know what I did not notice as far as military equipment that I'm sure the Japanese Imperial Army was issued was these. How come they didn't issue <laughs> they should have <laughs> they should have issued them two of these? Yeah! Because I bet those women were so ugly they were two baggies. One bag you put over the comfort woman and one bag over the Japanese soldier. So in case the comfort woman's bag fell off, you still had your bag on your head. So <laughs> Am I making light of the situation? Yes, because it's disgusting that people are exploiting the situation for their advantage. This report goes on to mention that the women enjoyed a whole lot of money to where they were able to buy clothes, cosmetics, and other stuff for themselves on their visits into town. Sexual slaves can do that? Sexual slaves make that kind of money? Some women were even allowed to go back home after they paid their debt off. Sexual slaves can do that? Some women were even complaining that their schedule with the Japanese soldiers was too tight, that they were not able to accommodate all the soldiers, and that saddened them that they could not have sex with all the soldiers. Sex, sex slaves feel that way? The report also goes on to mention that these comfort women 
engaged in sports with the Japanese soldiers. They went out picnics. They went to entertainment. They had went to parties with these Japanese soldiers. Sex slaves do that? They were recruited, according to this report, by the United States Army in 1944. So the discussions ended right here. We got proof that they were being recruited and were recruited. Now listen to me. Koreans currently are now plaguing the United States with these memorial statues or plaques dedicated to these comfort women, claiming they were forced into sexual slavery by the Japanese army. You're a liar. That did not happen. I'd rather call you a liar than the United States Army in World War II, who would have definitely used it for propaganda had it been the other way around. But they told the truth that these comfort women were recruited. So to the community of Nassau County, Long Island, New York, that community in New Jersey, and those idiots in Detroit who put up these memorials, you were suckered in by the comfort women hucksters. And to those dopes in the city council in Glendale, California, who recently approved to put up a statue to the comfort woman, the one that exists across the street from the Japanese embassy in Seoul, South Korea. When you put that statue up, would you do me a favor and put, be accurate? Put a paper bag over her head. <laughs> All right, folks. We'll see you. God bless you. God bless America. God bless the nation you happen to be in, and to those poor Japanese soldiers who were just drafted by the military to serve and fight for their country, only to be confronted by comfort women, who were, which required two bags, one for you and one for the woman. <laughs> to those Japanese soldiers, you should be seeking compensation from the Japanese government who recruited ugly women to serve in your concubines. <laughs> we'll see you. Ha 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 ha! Texas Oyaji, Nihon Jimmy Kyoko, 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 Nihon テキサスオヤジ日本事務局です。義援金をお振り込みいただく場合は、事務局へのご支援金と分けるために、お名前の後ろに数字の8、または義援金の義、またはカタカナで義という文字を追加願います。クレジットカードでのお支払い、またはゆうちょ銀行へのお振り込みは、ご覧の URL、または口座へお願いいたします。なお、締め切りは平成25年7月30日までとさせていただきます。